If you have fair hair and you haven't tinted your eyebrows yet, you must. It's life-changing. Blonde eyelashes and blonde eyebrows are tough. I feel bare, pale, and I can look at other people and think they look beautiful, but on me, I just want some color. And it's summer, I don't always wanna to have to wear makeup. So I'm going to tint my eyebrows. This is the Schwarzkopf Color 10. This is the number 7-1. The seven means it's a level seven, and the one means it's an ash color. I remember taking a class and them saying that 20 volume was necessary for the color 10, and I often forget about that. I don't know that it really matters. Anyway, I have 20 in there now. I'm just taking the end of my brush. You could use a Q-tip, you could use the end of a makeup brush. And once I apply this, it's gonna be on for 20 minutes. I like using hair color because I have control over the level of darkness. Looks like icing. I mixed way too much as usual. I'm gonna apply this on, really making sure to get into the root of the hair. Even though it says color 10, which means it develops in 10 minutes. Usually when you're coloring somebody's hair, it takes you about five to 10 minutes to apply it. So I take that into consideration and I leave it on for 20. I really saturate it because I have pokey hairs that are short and sometimes if I don't saturate it, they kind of poke themselves out of the product. I desperately need to buy some Q-tips. I'm gonna clean this up so it doesn't stain too badly. I never do this before I go out, just in case it stains my skin. If it does stain my skin, it's gone by the next day anyway. This will last me probably about a month. Really, if I were to do it properly, I would do it every three weeks. Sometimes I don't tell my husband I'm doing this and all of a sudden he'll look up and these will have developed and look so dark. It will get dark, don't be scared. So I'm gonna leave this for about 20 minutes. My lips are so dry. I am really liking Ilia. When you tint your eyelashes, it's a completely different story. Don't use the color 10. You're gonna use something like Refectasil because it's meant for the lashes. Color 10 has ammonia in it and you don't want that by your eyes. I'm gonna use blue black and some drops of this. I have an itch. I always curl my lashes first before I tint them. I don't know why, I just feel like it gets my lashes further away from my eye. It allows me to get right to the base. I'm actually gonna take a brush and push it right into the base. There. That feels better. The key is, do not get this in your eye, but the reason I like to do it myself is because I can see exactly what I'm doing. And every time I go get this done by somebody, they make me close my eyes, but for some reason I don't have a proper seal. So it always seeps into my eyes and they leave me there in the room and my eyes burn like crazy. So at least if I get it in my eye, I can run and take it off really fast. I have done it but I don't suffer because it's a quick, quick eye wash and it's done. I don't know why I curled my lashes because the weight of this just pff, puts them right down anyway. It just makes me feel better. Okay, let's see where this is at. If you ever want to scare someone, do your brows at home. All right, this has been on for 20 minutes. And let's see what I got. Ha ha, I got brows, yay. Now I hardly have to pencil them in. Eyebrows frame your face. It gives you color. All right, now I'm gonna go wash off my eyelash tint. Now, if I wanted to just tidy myself up a little bit, brighten my eyes. Watch the magic. No mascara, just a curl. Now, if I wanna go swimming or if I just wanna head out to the store, I feel like I have a face and I feel good. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. I hope this helps and I will see you later. Bye.